Let's come back home now and last night in fact in the very early hours of this morning the Greens finally gave their support for the mining tax after the government agreed not to cut spending on services like health and education. Federal Parliament sat late into the night to ensure the matter was resolved before the politicians head off on their long summer break at the end of this week. Greens leader Bob Brown joins us now from Canberra. Bob Brown good morning and thanks for joining us. Good morning Virginia. So what clinched the deal? The uh, government put forward a proposal to offset the $20 million a year that would be lost to the public through the arrangement to uh, allow companies profiting between 50 and $75 million from mining to pay no, tax at, no new tax at all. Uh, we knew that money would come out of schools and hospitals and childcare and we wanted the money put back. We've been able to achieve that. Uh, and so the mining tax got Adam Bant, the member for Melbourne, support and went through uh, the House of Representatives. So where else was the cut made then? Uh, well, the, the money uh, will come back into the public purse to facilitate uh, and to make sure that uh, schools and, and um, health services and so on are properly funded. Uh, that announcement about the detail of that is left to the government. Uh, it didn't want us to announce the detail uh, right away. Uh, there's, uh, I, I guess, technical reasons for that. We're, we're, we'll honour that agreement, but the, the detail will become public I in um, the coming days or, or week or so in the run-up to the mid-year economic uh, statement by the uh, Treasurer. Uh, we leave that to the government, but people will see uh, that this is a real offset. It's a um, it's it's in the public interest. The wider Australian public will benefit from it, and that's the function of the Greens on this occasion. I congratulate the government for the tax that it's getting up from the mining boom. It's not everything we'd like to see. We back the original Treasury uh, model, which would have brought much more money into the public purse. Mm. But it's certainly uh, far better than raise no taxes at all, which Tony Abbott's been proposing. It does seem strange that the detail of this can't actually be uh, made public the, the very next day after the deal has been struck. Adam Bant described it as a progressive measure. What does that mean? Does that mean it's a new, uh, some kind of new tax? No, it means that it's, it's not going to come out of the pockets of the average Australian. Uh, which no, is... but it has to come from somewhere. Yeah, that's right. And you'll see that it, it's, uh, Australians will approve of this. I, I'm, uh, it, it is frustrating, and I'm sorry for the frustration it causes you, Virginia, and, and other journalists who want to get the detail across to the Australian public. But part of the uh, arrangement with the government and, and with the Prime Minister and Treasurer last night was that uh, they would announce this detail uh, when uh, the measure was ready to be announced, and we've left that to them. I... I we would have announced it right away, but um, they have good reason for not doing that. Uh, but it's a good measure. I'm very happy with it, and um, I'm very pleased that Adam Bant was able to uh, accept it also to ensure this legislation got through the parliament. All right. Well, look, moving on from that, why can't the Senate, the Senate now consider and um, ultimately pass this legislation immediately? Why are the Greens sending this legislation off to a committee to be considered and therefore it won't get passed until next year? Oh, because that's what the Senate does. It's the watchdog for the people and that means that it can go to an inquiry and we get uh, feedback from the Australian public. That includes business. But, what, what, includes... but what, about, what about this tax are you yet to know? It's been turned upside down and looked at from every single angle, including in, in, depth, in depth and at length by the Greens. Well, let me give you one example. Uh, built into the tax uh, is the Commonwealth funding uh, the royalties that the mining companies have to pay to the state governments. In other words, it gives the money out of taxes raised this way back to the mining corporations so that effectively they don't pay state royalties. Uh, we we uh, are concerned about that. It means that the states can jack up royalties and erode this tax base and that again will see the money not going to the wider public good, to public transport and housing and, and schools and so on, but um, uh, across to the mining companies and, and uh, to state governments for uh, alternative uses. We think that's a design flaw. We'd like to talk about that with the government and the Treasurer over the, the summer months. Uh, the Treasurer is looking at 
means of clawing back that money uh, if states jack up royalties. But that's pretty uh, clumsy. It's not the best way of doing it. We simply believe that that uh, part of the legislation, I think it's uh, section 60, should be amended. But uh, we'll be talking with the government about that. It's uh, the job of the Greens here to get a better ec economic outcome for the wider electorate and to make sure it is progressive and that's what we're well on the way to doing. Uh, if we wait a few months over summer, uh, this tax doesn't come into place until the next financial year, um, that, that uh, will get a better result. We also want to look at the uh, way in which uh, taxes are levied on superannuation right. uh, and, and to make sure that that's progressive and that it simply isn't a big windfall for the mega rich, which is currently the way it's configured. Well, but, but, that but, given, but given that's the case, Bob Brown, then it just really confuses me as to why the Greens then would vote for this legislation in the form that it's in at the lower house level, only to say we have these huge problems with fundamental aspects of the law now that it's arrived in the Senate. It's sort of a, it's a bit of a waste of people's time isn't it? Well, uh, I guess that's why you're asking the questions and I'm giving the answers because it is very complicated being in the field of legislation and uh, you have to tangle with complexities and you have to come up with uh, a better outcome if you can and that's what we're assiduously doing. Our, our job is to represent the people who voted us into power and we're doing that and if we can get a better result, we got a, we got a better result through Adam Bant's work in the House yesterday um, if we can get a better result again for the people of Australia in the coming months before this tax is brought into place, out of the mining boom, which is based on the mineral wealth of the people of Australia, don't forget. Yeah, it's yeah. not the mining company's wealth, it's sure. the people of Australia's wealth. We'll do so. All right, but, but then on that very point that you make, at this stage you could be reasonably accused of political overreach, which is exercising far more influence than your national vote of, what was it, 14% at the last federal election actually allows you and would entitle, well, would, would entitle you to. You now seem to want to exercise control over every aspect of the legislation that causes you personal discomfort. Well, I, I think uh, if we're using our political skills and wherewithal, to the best advantage, that's an accusation I'll just have to wear. Uh, we, we are ten responsible people in this parliament. We're economically uh, savvy. Uh, we are here to get outcomes based on our commitment at the last election, which included passing this legislation, rather than getting nothing, as uh, Tony Abbott, with his $70 billion black hole, um, would, uh, uh, is currently uh, aiming to do. We, we don't want to see the uh, country in that sort of economic distress. Uh, but um, yes, uh, we have limited uh, power and numbers, but we're using those to get better outcomes and, and we'll continue to do so. And when it comes to the superannuation aspect of this legislation, Virginia, this, will, uh, this break over summer will see us working hard to see that average income earners, um, middle income earners and low income earners aren't left uh, with almost nothing uh, in terms of the tax advantages that come, can come through putting money into superannuation okay. while the mega rich get uh, billions of dollars each year. We want to even that up just a little. All right, good to talk to you, Bob Brown. Thanks so much. Thank you.